Hi everyone! Today we'll look at using layers. Now layers may initially seem confusing, but they are in fact really easy to work with and let you manage your photo editing more effectively. So, what actually is a layer? First imagine a set of transparent sheets stacked on top of each other. Each of these sheets contains part of a single image. It's when all of these layers are put together that the image is actually created. The image I'm using to demonstrate this is a Photo Plus sample called Painting. It's available from the Startup Wizard, so feel free to open it and experiment for yourself. The really useful thing about using layers is that they enable you to manipulate part of an image at a time and then see how those changes affect the whole image. Now, let's explore how layers are used in Photo Plus. A typical project will start off with a single layer. This is called the background layer and is essentially the bottom sheet in the stack. You can add as many new layers as you like by clicking the New Layer button on the Layers tab. In this dialog, you can name the new layer and also change the blend mode and opacity, but we'll look at that in more detail later. To demonstrate multiple layer use, I'm going to show you some useful ways that brush strokes can be applied to layers. So, let's name the new layer surrounding and click OK. Each new layer appears on top of the currently active layer in the Layers tab. This comprises the layer stack. New layers are called standard layers to differentiate them from the background layer. A key difference between the background layer and standard layers is that the pixels on the background layer are always opaque, whereas those on standard layers vary in opacity so you can see what's on the layer underneath. The great thing about layers is that if you make a mistake while working on a layer, you can delete it and start again, and the original image isn't affected. There are loads of ways you can use layers to build up your image, but in this example, as I mentioned earlier, we'll look at using brush strokes. First, make sure that the correct layer is selected. Next, on the Tools toolbar from the Brush Tools flyout, choose the Paintbrush tool. Over on the Brush Tip tab, from the drop down list, select a category and then a brush stroke. You can change the size of the brush on the Context toolbar. OK, now we'll choose a colour. You can either choose one from the Colour tab or take one from your image so it matches. This is really easy to do. Simply select the Colour Pickup tool from the Tools toolbar and hover over the image. You can see the preview of the colour in the box. When you've decided which colour you want, click once. On the Colour tab, the colour of the foreground swatch will have updated to match the one that's been chosen. I'll select the paintbrush tool again and start painting. I'm going to create an abstract style surrounding for my photo, but you can do whatever you like. This effect looks good, but I think it's a bit too heavy for the photo. To solve this, I'm going to change the layer's opacity. On the Layers tab, click the arrow next to Opacity and then move the slider to control the visibility of the layer. Alternatively, you can type a value into this box. I'd like to add some more decorative detail with another brush stroke. To do this, I need to add a new layer. I'll call this one Leaves and click OK. Next, I'll choose another brush from the Brushes tab and change the size and colour as before. You can add as much detail to your photo as you like. Simply create new layers for each technique. Finally, 
I'll introduce you to blend modes. Blend modes change the way the pixels on the selected layer interact with the pixels on the layer below. You can click through the range of blend modes by expanding the blend modes drop down list and then using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you understand the concept of layers a little more clearly and have enjoyed seeing the basic ways that they can be used in your projects. For more information, see the help, the how to tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching!